Hello fellow bakers, it's David here. Today we're going to be featuring a classic recipe, butterscotch meringue pie. Growing up in the 80s, this was the recipe to have at every holiday, and what better way to celebrate the nostalgia that I have than with a little 80s music. And thanks to our 80s ingredients montage, we are going to get started. So let's mix together some milk and heavy cream with some egg yolks. And we're going to whisk that really, really well so that we have a nice homogenous mixture of nice custard base that we are going to be cooking. Add butter and brown sugar to a medium saucepan over medium heat. You're going to want to use dark brown sugar. The molasses flavor will certainly enhance the pie. You can use light brown sugar, but it's going to be a little less robust than the butterscotchery flavor. Continue cooking the mixture over medium heat for five minutes, stirring occasionally until you start to see these large bubbles forming. Add your flour and cornstarch and give it a quick stir. While whisking continuously, very slowly add in your eggy milk mixture, being careful to not cook the eggs or curdle the cream. Keep whisking until the mixture begins to bubble, about 180 to 185 degrees. Then remove the mixture from the heat and whisk in your vanilla extract. Grab your pre-cooked pie shell, pour your butterscotch filling through a mesh strainer to ensure that silky goodness. Smooth that out with a spatula and set that baby aside. Only have a raw dough? Oh no! Let's help you out with a quick tutorial. <gasps> Preheat your oven to 450 degrees. Roll out your dough to fit your pie plate with about one to two inches excess. Lay out your pie shell on your pie plate, leaving an overhang. Trim the overhang, leaving about one inch uniformly around. Crimp the edges if you're feeling fun. Add parchment paper and your pie weight of choice. Bake the pie until the edges start to turn golden brown. Remove the pie weights. Prick the inner base of the pie with a fork. Return to bake until the pie firms up about five minutes longer. Let it cool 10 minutes before using. And if you're curious, check out my recipe linked at the end of this video. All right, back to the show. Yeah. Time to make our Italian meringue. So we're going to start by heating up sugar and water over high heat in a small saucepan. Stir the sugar mixture until the sugar dissolves, at which point you can just let it bubble on its own until it reaches 230 degrees, which is the temperature we're going to start to make meringue. At this point, you're going to add egg whites to a medium bowl. Heat it at medium speed until you start to see some foaminess. Next, to give the meringue some heft and structure, add cream of tartar. And optionally, you can also add vanilla if you're feeling a marshmallow vibe, which I was feeling. Continue beating the egg whites at medium speed until you see medium peaks form, at which point your sugar should be at 240 degrees. Continue beating the eggs at medium speed and slowly stream the hot sugar mixture down the sides of the bowl ever so slowly so that you do not cook the eggs. Crank your beater to medium high until you start to see stiff peaks forming. You should also notice that the egg mixture is nice and shiny and perfect for use. At this point, we're going to take our cooled pie and pour on the meringue. Spread the topping until you get to the outer edge of the crust, which will help the meringue keep its volume but also help prevent moisture from seeping into the pie. Use the back of a spatula or spoon to give the meringue peaks, and then broil it in the oven until the top turns a nice golden brown, about five minutes. But keep an eye on it, because it could burn. But seriously, enjoy the most nostalgia-inducing, delicious butterscotch meringue pie. And this being my third recipe video today, I'm going to call it quits and have myself a cocktail. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you soon.